NFL kickoff is one week from Thursday, and most teams in the National Football League have announced who their starting quarterback is going to be. It feels like there's two teams left that have yet to make that final determination unless there's a story we haven't heard of yet. Let's bring in Jacob Kamaker to see if we can get to the bottom of the final two. Jacob, do you think that's fair? Do you think Pittsburgh, New England, are, are those the two teams at this point? I, I think we uh, are making an assumption on both at this point, but we don't have anything official, right? No, neither team has officially named their starter. We kind of think we know which direction both teams are going in. But, you know, we've been known to see curveballs in the past. I know a handful of years ago when Cam Newton was the with the Patriots, everyone thought he was going to be named the starter, and Mac Jones was uh, put ahead of him. So you never know. Sometimes coaches have a last-minute change of heart. But until we hear the answers in Pittsburgh and New England, we're going to wonder, are they going to stick to their original plan? Or are they going to go with maybe the flashier, more exciting option? Yeah, and, and it's interesting. We'll start with Pittsburgh because Mike Tomlin could have very easily put this to rest and say that, you know, Russell Wilson is the starting quarterback. And the fact that he hasn't done it tells you just how close this is. I mean, to me, that's the story here is that we're probably going to hear, I'm going to guess Jacob tomorrow. Uh, or today that that Russell's named the starter and he goes into the season as the starter but make no mistake about it I think uh, Jacob Justin Fields is going to play this year and I think the leash on uh, Russ is probably as short as any any quarterback in the NFL I agree with you there I think Russell Wilson will probably be named the starter Mike Tomlin has been adamant throughout this whole process that his plan was always to start Russell Wilson after signing him in free agency to that minimum contract. The plan was we're going to start Russell Wilson this year. I thought trading for Justin Fields to back him up was a smart move because now you have two quarterbacks who, if they can one live up to his potential and the other regain the form he once showed as a Super Bowl winning quarterback, you figure right. one of those guys might pan out. And if not, you have to draft someone to replace them. But I thought both were good gambles, but the Steelers offense in the preseason really was not very good uh, until that last game where both of them kind of had their flashes. I think the telling thing is Russell Wilson played one series in that finale against Detroit. He completed two passes, both to George Pickens on a touchdown drive, came out of the game. After that, Justin Fields played three drives, led one touchdown drive, but had a botched snap at one point. So I think Mike Tomlin's going to look at, hey, Russell Wilson led that clean drive. I think that separates him enough to give him the starting job. But I think you're right that the leash is going to be pretty short. And if Russell Wilson doesn't look good, Steelers fans pretty quickly are going to be calling for Justin oh, yeah. Fields because of his scrambling ability. Yeah, and I will give uh, Tomlin some credit. He usually does not have that quick hook. It's, so I, I don't think it'll be like immediately, but two games, maybe three games would be the most for me. Uh, okay, so Gerard Mayo last night, final preseason game, said that Jacoby Brissett, the plan all along was for him to come out even though he was hurt and that, you know, he's the starting quarterback. And then this morning he went on a radio show, Jacob, saying that uh, Drake May has clearly outplayed Jacoby Brissett. So, I, you know, I don't know which way they're going to go here. It seems to me that Drake May is the starter. Uh, the guys here, we were talking about this before, Jacob, and my point was, is that I do think that that's going to end up happening. But Jacoby Brissett, uh, Jacob, as you know, is a beloved player and a leader in the NFL for a long time. And so from a respect point of view, I think that that's probably what's going on right now is they're figuring out the right way to do this. But uh, when you're so you know loved by your teammates and you, you're running the quarterback room, it's really hard all of a sudden just to go another direction. I'm going to guess they will. I, I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or the next day, but a little bit – people are probably saying, Craig, what are you, crazy? It's Jacoby Brissett. But – uh, that's the way I view it. I, I view this, uh, you know, a quarterbacks like this, they just want to make sure the right way is handled. I think you have a good point there. And I've kind of been in the camp all along that has thought Jacoby Brissett's going to open the season as a starter. And I still think, even despite what Mayo has said about Drake May, and despite May really performing well and getting better as the preseason goes along, I think Brissett is going to open the season as a starter. And I think there's a very specific reason for this. And it has everything to do with the supporting cast around him. The Patriots yeah. offensive line is a mess right now. Yeah. And it will get yeah. better when David Andrews is put in the game. But they've got guys playing out of position because they want Vidarian Lowe, I think, to be their left tackle. But when he's out, what they've had to do is move Chooks Okorafor from right tackle to left tackle, move Mike Owenu from right guard to right tackle, Cole Strange is out. City So has hurt his ankle in this last game. 
and he exited the game in a walking boot. So we don't know if he's healthy. So this offensive line could be extremely problematic. So I think Gerard Mayo might be saying, yeah, May might give us the best chance of winning, but we have to be sure he can be protected well enough or he's going to turn into another Mac Jones or David Carr, or someone of that right. ilk where you just don't want to stunt his development. So I think between that and the respect that you mentioned that Brissett has as a long-term veteran, I think he's going to be the starter at the beginning of the season. And then if the Patriots struggle in the first three to four games, then I think they make the switch when the offensive line is a little healthier and has more continuity. But this one's yeah. going to be fascinating to watch because Mayo has kind of flip-flopped on his opinion in the last 24 hours. So really could yeah. go either way. Yeah, fair points by you on the offensive line too. You don't want to see your quarterback killed in the first couple of weeks. Uh, so the odds to win the rookie of the year have significantly shifted in the last week or so since the preseason. With Jaden Daniels playing as well as he has, he's moved up to 6-1 to one to win the rookie of the year. We know he's going to be the starter. We knew that all along, but he's looked really good, Jacob, and so has Bo Nix. So he's moved up to 11 to one. And now this morning on FanDuel, Drake May is up to 14 to one to win the rookie of the year. So look, Caleb Williams is the favorite. He was a top pick in the draft, but I'm here to tell you, even Harrison, I, I think that this is a wide open contest. If I'm making a bet today, I'm not betting Caleb Williams. I wouldn't bet him at those odds either. I really like the idea of backing Jaden Daniels because you're getting six to one odds on a guy who's going to be an elite scrambler at the NFL level. We, we know he has arm talent and can make any throw too, but often you see the guys who are electric playmakers with their legs kind of become better players at the pro level quicker because they can be a dual threat quarterback. Williams is great on the move too, but I mean, if you're talking about this competition now, I think it's more of a coin flip than these odds suggest. So give me Daniels all day. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it's going to be a fun competition this year, and it may come down to the end. Jacob, great to see you, catch up with you, and we'll do it again soon and talk about the first week of the NFL season. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Greg. Take care.